If your spreadsheet had a voice, it would say, Psst. don't forget to fill me in. In today's video, we're diving into a simple yet super useful technique to enhance the user experience, adding comments as reminders for cell inputs. Whether you're managing data or collaborating with a team, these tips will streamline your workflow and ensure clarity. We'll walk you through two practical examples that show you how to effectively implement this feature. Stay tuned to transform your spreadsheet into more intuitive tools. You're probably familiar with the way you can add comments into Excel. Now, there's different versions of Excel that have it as a comment or a note. The previous version where we add this little, little red triangle, that's going to be a comment. But in the newer version, it's called a new note. So if I click that and I just put something random here and that's going to be your comment or your note. See, I have one here already. And this is going to be something we can do all across the sheets, but it looks kind of distracting, right? Because you have this little red triangle. Well, what if we wanted to kind of be more subtle? There's two ways you can do that. Let's go through this first example here where I have this long formula and what it does is just brings back today's date. Very similar to just the today function. But if you wanted to add some commentary to this and you had long formulas, what you can do is use a function called n. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the n function, right? So if we do n equals n, and you see there's this n function, what it does is convert the non-number value to a number. So if it sees anything that that's just not a number like text, it's basically gonna turn it into a zero. And so you can just add it into the function. Right, it doesn't really do anything to it. So with that in mind, I'm gonna put some text here and then just add it to it. And it's basically a zero plus whatever is here. So type N, open parentheses, not to put it into quotes, right? So I'm gonna say, put these star symbols here. And I'll say nonsense formula, you get date. N quotes, N parentheses, and then plus. So basically zero plus whatever here. Press enter, doesn't do anything here. But if I go back to the cell, you can see that there is this text here and it's a comment. I'm going to put some stars here to make it look like it is a comment. And it's very similar to people who do programming. You put your comments before some important areas just to give some commentary on your formula or your statements. So that's one way we can do it in Excel. Now, if we wanted to add something where we give a little bit more commentary to have people think about something before we input something, let's say we have a date here and you're going to say 12, 12, 12, right? And yeah, that's fine. But let's say we wanted to have people enter a date in a particular format. And so what we can do, press delete here, is go under data and go to the data validation tool, data validation. And what we could do here is go into the input message. What I can say here is put enter date in, and I'll say this format, YYYY, MMDD, and format. Click OK. And once somebody clicks into that cell, let's say I click into that cell, it's going to give that little pop up. And you go, oh, OK, I'm going to enter it into that format. Now, this, is, this could probably be a little more descriptive. Let me go back in here and go into data validation. And I'll give an example, right? Some people might like examples, right? So about 219, 12, 12. And that's an example of the formula, right? So I can say, oh, OK, yeah, 2020, 12, 12, press enter. And the reason why it gives these hash marks is Excel sees dates as numbers, and this is a big number, so the date is going to be really weird. I'm going to turn this value back, the cell values format back into general, so you can see that number there. So it just makes it easy for us to see this particular video. So if you wanted to add some commenting to your cells, these are the ways that we can do it. Thanks for tuning in to our tutorial on enhancing spreadsheets with comments. We hope these examples inspire you to enhance your spreadsheets functionality and user experience. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tips and tricks.